Now uh, we I introduce Temen Chong. Uh, she's an artist with an international background. She studied fine arts at Onkik University, Seoul, Korea, and uh, at the Hochschule für Grafik und Buchkunst Leipzig. Since 2021, she had been studying postgraduate studies at the University of Fine Arts in Dresden. She received scholarships and awards. Through her recent art, she addresses her desire for the right to appropriate space, as well as the longing, longing for sedentariness. Based on these themes, the formal language of temporariness and transportability can be found in her work since 2018. And her uh, topic is fit into the space. Please welcome Taimen Chong. Good afternoon, everyone who are participating in Artistic Research Days. It is uh, an absolute honor for me to have the opportunity to introduce my project at the Academy of Fine Arts of Rome. My name is Taemin Jung. I am currently studying postgraduate study at the Dresden University of Fine Arts in Germany. So recently, the most significant factor that influenced my daily life was my origin and the challenging of finding a new home. Seoul, where I lived, was one of the cities suffering from housing shortages. In Seoul and its surrounding areas, four out of 10 people were considered house poor meaning that the cost of housing left them without enough money to cover their basic living expenses. In South Korea, 1.3 million young people living, live in uh, alternative accommodations such as Koshiwon, semi-basements, rooftop houses, etc. You can see it in a photo the here, Koshiwon, just the small dormitory styles room, like a, just the uh, three and six square meters. Or you can see here semi-basement. And uh, this is uh, known as a Panjiha, gained attention following the success of the director Bong Joon-ho film, Parasite, in 2019. So this film describes also a poor family's life in a semi-basement house. So these alternative housing options are also inhabited by vulnerable populations, such as uh, migrant workers, low-income individuals, and elderly people without family support. The scarcity of uh, housing spaces and uh, gentrification happens not only in Korea. I moved to, to Germany in 2013 and I had a difficulty getting the house. I needed to move every two months to uh, another temporary stay because I couldn't get the home. Since then, I found myself deeply contemplating this issue, and I began to find my own home through art. When I started this project, there were small rules, which are that my home should be variable, transportable, and light that I can carry by myself. So I used the plastic foils, especially that are consumed by myself. In the beginning, I focused on the meaning and materials of my symbolic house, but gradually I thought over the form.
Even if you don't know the name of these plants, you can easily recognize it by its distinctive leaves. Monstera gained significant attention around 2020, partly due to the indoor plant trends in COVID pandemic. Monstera dominated not only over 25% of interior design contents on Instagram, but also made 7 million products featuring Monstera leaves. Naturally, due to high demand, the price of the plants become expensive. So uh, right now, maybe you can buy the monster plants like a twenty dollar to one hundred, but especially like a, a monster deliciosa albo, uh, like a half uh, mixed with the white color with the green. That's kind also up to five thousand dollar can cost. So showing these plants in social media is effectively showcasing wave with the elegant, unlike the overt display of a material wave. However, you might wonder if the Monstera's price is the only reason that provokes feeling of social comparison and the sense of deprivation. We need to pay attention to the space in which this plant's in place. The background portrayed an ideal, beautiful home worthy of uh, interior magazine features. Spe spacious area, high ceiling, ample sunlight streaming through large windows or onto the balcony and the tastefully arranged furniture and decor. Despite external seasonal changes and the being moved to, moved to different environments, the plants maintains in their new home with the consistent factors such as uh, lightning, water supply, temperature, and uh, ventilation. Of course, not everyone can afford to live in such a house, and not everyone can provide this environment for their plants. With the continuous update of new images and the accessibility provided by social media from everywhere and at any time, we can easily find the evidence that someone else seems to be living on a better life than our own. It's the immediate comparison of the most personal space where our most basic human needs are met. With these behind the stories, I became interested in Monstera. I created an installation art that embodied the longing to the find my own home. The burden of having to carry everything on my own and the challenge of space limitations. Since this, I continued the installation art with the plant's motivations. In my most recent work, I researched to find plants that could better reflect my identity, and that's the Korean perilla. There are various motives for individuals to leave their native country, but most people who arrive at the new location face difficulties such as a lack of knowledge about the social culture, natural environments, and food. Among these, food is not only directed, directly related to the personal health, but also st stimulate the sense through its taste and evokes familiar memories of one's homeland. Today, we live in a time when almost everything can be transported across the borders, but still though, 
the exchange of food is often restricted. As a result, immigrants bring the ingredients that remind them of the flavors of their homeland when they enter a new country, including spices, herb, and the plants. In fact, the export and import of plants and plant products between countries are so strict. Due to these processes or simply by ignorance, many items are often smuggled without paper documentation, as is the case in Korean perilla. Korean perilla belong to the mint family Lomiasia and it is used as a spice or herb like a mint. However, their unique aroma is quite strong, so Korea is the almost the only country where they are consumed raw. In Korean cuisine, perilla leaves are widely used as a herb and fresh as a salad or pickled in soy sauce or chili sauce. As a result, many people living abroad began to miss fresh leaves and started to bring the seeds and grow them by windowsill or on the balconies. In Germany, for example, I often witnessed the Korean online community every early summer with the people looking for the seeds or sharing their experience of growing them. During the late summer harvest season, some people even share their own harvest, harvested perilla leaves or distribute seeds for next year cultivation. As immigrants move plants with them a new area, they can contribute to establishment of new plant species and form unique cultural practice related to the, these plants. This process is known as a culture, cultural plant transfer or plant translocation, and it also helps preserve the genetic diversity of plants. So this summer, I also got the seeds and plants from Korean people in Germany, which I never had a personal contact with them. So. This is for uh, part of the uh, Korean perilla I uh, could get from the, uh, the pastor Yoon's. She has her uh, own farm in uh, Berlin and I uh, could get these four parts and uh, brought to home. And this, this uh, drawing is uh, the showing how I needed to travel to there. Uh, so I, uh, at home, I cultivate, cultivate the perilla plants and uh, as an artist movement, plant it in the places that I want to make my niche in Germany. So I made a small uh, pot and then uh, planted in a, this pot the uh, Korean perilla and uh, planted uh, at the place in different uh, places. In, in this photo, uh, may not, you can not recognize the, which place is it, but uh, this is the foreign authority. And this is the room actually the, in the foreign authority buildings that the, the, all the foreigners need to get an appointment or get a visa to live in a Germany. And this is the main station in Leipzig.
So at the end, I made a documentation of all the my uh, works, and then uh, two days later, we were gonna have the opening of the the exhibition in Dresden, and I will present also my pot photography there. Thank you. Um, I have a question on your efforts uh, as an artist to make a dialogue between, between ecological value and your language. So the um, representation of the, uh, this, this plant and the care about these plants has, has to do with the transposition of uh, your artistic expression and something which has to do also with migration. So I see many layers of meaning. Um, is it correct? Layers of meaning? Though? I think my, pro uh, my work developed by the uh, very period which I had been through the uh, problem in Germany. The, when I started my art, uh, with this, which is this project, uh, that's the moment I needed to find a new house, home for myself. And uh, uh, through the time while I'm st staying in Germany also, I've been, uh, I had a difficulty to find my identity as a foreigner in Germany. So. In my work, actually, there is many layers and many themes. And right now, uh, with this uh, uh, artistic research, uh, I try to uh, figure out, so to narrow out also what I want to talk exactly with my art. So, uh, uh, also related uh, with the, on my personal history background, and yes. Thank you very much. I think the most uh, key word with the connect with my work is niche. So uh, this is a very fascinating word. So that means also the in architecture the some uh, the bit some small spaces between a world, but also it means the uh, findings uh, the space for own space, so it, uh, it means also. So, uh, so my work is a kind of a finding my own niche in, uh, uh, not only in Germany, also like uh, where I want to live or uh, yeah, where I decide to live, so yeah. because students are on strike because there are not spaces for students to live. So as also this political connotation. Well, thank, thank you very much. If one of the plants die, uh, is it part of the documentation or you just, what happens if one Barry. of these? Actually, in no, the, because, uh, in the pre present, oh. uh, presentation, I uh, Actually, in the presentation, I show uh, you guys the plants what uh, I successfully uh, make them live. <laughs> in this year, I fail. I make uh, so many failures. So the, I bought like uh, 300 seeds of a Korean perilla, but uh, I couldn't make it, make them so make a, become a plant grow. So, yeah, at the end, I needed to get the, the already grow the plants from the another Korean. 
<laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's the yeah happened in my yeah experiment. And they are in good shape, the one we saw. So <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much.